up gang welcome to the greatness machine i'm your host darius from shaz i'm so pumped to have you here with me and listen the greatness machine we're about two things number one people who are living their passions and number two those who are creating greatness in the world and doing both of these things despite the odds against them each episode we're going to feature interviews with game changers and business leaders you know telling us their origin stories what made them tick what got them to where they are now why so it can help you step into your greatness within your life your business and your career Occasionally, you might hear a few solo episodes from myself, moi, as I say, as I leverage my 20 years of entrepreneurship as a CEO and founder to help you grow and level up in your journey to scale your life and your business. So come be a fly on the wall, enjoy the conversation, and I'm stoked to have you here with me. What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of The Greatness Machine. I'm your host, Darius Mershazde, and we have a special, special episode. I'm going to be flying solo today, and I am, you know, I had this moment, and I, I've been journaling a lot lately, and so today's episode is really about what would future Darius, what would the future you tell yourself 10 years from now about what you're doing today? And it's an interesting exercise. You know, I started thinking back to you know, I'm 44 years old. I started thinking back to like, you know, what would I, what advice would I have given to 34 year old Darius or what, what advice would I have given to 24 year old Darius knowing what I know now? And I started trying to think like, well, I wonder if I could go into the future, become myself and then come into the present time and give myself some current advice. Like what are some things that I would look at today and say like, listen, man, don't screw this up. And so the exercise I put myself through is I said, what would 54 year old do? And I get it. You know, when you're in your 50s, you're in a different time in your life. I don't know what that's like. But observing what I'm doing right now, what are the, what's the recommendations I would give myself? And so I, I made a list. I want to kind of go through them with you. And, 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 and I, I encourage you to like think about your own life. And what are the things if you were to get into a time machine, you know, you boop, 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 hop into that time machine. It's like back to the future style. You're in the DeLorean. You're flying through time. You go 10 years in the future. You grab your 10-year-old your, your, your year version of yourself. You know, you're 10 years older than you are today. You get back into that time machine. You fly in a day, and you sit down with yourself, and you talk to yourself. And for me, it was kind of, you know, interesting. I got two kids. They're 8 and 12. 9 and 12, sorry. <laughs> my younger one's like, what are you talking about, Dad? Um, and as so I wrote, man, I would enjoy my kids now. You know, like I think a lot of times like, oh, I just got to go do that work and then then I'll get to hang out with my kids. And then and, and I'm telling myself this when I'm, you know, I'm shooting this podcast late at night. And here I am, you know, not enjoying my kids enough. So enjoy your kids now. Enjoy your friends now. Don't wait for some future event. Um, you know, one of the things I started thinking back to like the things I stressed about in my businesses 10 years ago, I don't even remember what they are now. I couldn't tell you, Sidaris, what were you stressing about in your business in 2020, 2012? I can kind of remember some of the big stuff and, but more or less like it was really big stuff. And so I, I reminded myself, don't stress about your business. You know, don't sp- stress about the business, learn from the business, enjoy the process. Don't stress about it. You won't remember this. I wrote that you won't remember this. Um, I wrote for you to work in your marriage, right? Work in the marriage, right? Make my marriage better. Work on your relationships. Right. This was a cool one. Exercise. You know, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm actually lying right now. <laughs> I, I could be way better about exercise, but exercise, I got to treat my body. Well, I wrote, don't be fearful. You know, when I look back at the things that I feared a decade ago, I can't remember. I can hardly remember any of them. And most of them, if not all of them didn't come true. And when they did come true, I worked through them. And there's some interesting data out there. I think it's something like, of the things that we worry about never happen. And of the remaining 15%, it's like you can handle almost 90% of it. You know, it's very small percentage of bad things that we worry about ever, ever happen. So I reminded myself, don't be fearful. I wrote to myself, try and experiment more, you know, experiment. Don't just live a safe life. Try new things. Try to experiment more. Why? Well, man, dude, I, because you only have one life to live. Why not? I wrote to myself, invest in what you want 54-year-old Darius doing 10 years from now. So don't just worry about the now. Worry about like, what do I want to be doing 10 years from now? I got to make those, I got to pay the pay the piper today. I got to start putting those, those deposits into the cash register now 
so that I build it up so that 10 years from now it's happening the way I want it to. And, you know, I made a list of some of those things that matter to me. You know, this podcast being one of them. I wrote to myself to eat healthy. Er, <laughs> I, I eat half healthy, um, but I could do better, right? Because the body, you know, the body never forgets, as, as my therapist says. I wrote spend time with my family, you know, and, and, and don't take that for granted. You know, I have a friend, uh, Mike Ayala, that's going to be on the show, and he talks about 18 summers. You only have 18 summers with your kids, right? And then they're, and they're off, you know. And, and when you start looking at the data of how much time people spend, hours of time people spend with their children after the age of 18, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. So if you're on the kid's side, go spend time with your dad. If you're a kid, you shouldn't be listening to this. <laughs> at least, I mean, unless you're very mature. Um, but if, you know, like, we only have a limited amount of time. And like my friend Leo Fed says, it's like, they're, it's like a shooting star. You blink and it's gone. Um, I wrote, go on more adventures, you know, and I have a list of adventures I've been working on. I want to go on more of those adventures. Don't live a life of fear. There's a theme going on here. And, and, and if you sat in on my meditations, you would, you would see me pumping myself up about, you know, go take, take chances. Uh, this is an interesting one. You know, I've had this dream for a long time that I want to try stand-up comedy, and I haven't done it yet. And, you know, I think I'm funny. I don't know. Maybe you don't. <laughs> but uh, try stand-up. You know, like, again, take chances. Um, quit worrying about clients and team members. They probably won't be there. Now, look, with the exception of Tiffany, my amazing assistant, like who's been with me for a while now, you know, the odds are that people move on and, and, and they go do new stuff, you know. And I was just thinking back to, you know, it's not that I don't want that to happen. I've I've had some really great team members for a long time. I have a great team right now. But, but you know, the reality is 10 years from now, like the odds of it, of my whole team being together is probably pretty low, right? So just do your best. Don't worry about, you know, the team. Don't worry about the clients so much. Like they're probably not going to be here 10 years from now, you know, do a good job, do your best, but don't worry about it. And I find I, what, what, what told me that was, I started thinking, you know, back to 10 years ago, like the clients and team I was worrying about then. It's like, man, I was stressing myself out and we know, man, stress kills and stressing about this person leaving or that client not wanting to do more business with me. And I'm like, dude, if you asked me who they were now, I couldn't even tell you. I can't remember. I have no clue. You told me five years ago what I was stressing about teams and clients and team members and executives and employees. I couldn't tell you who they are. I have no clue who I was stressing about five years ago, you know? So it's, it's just about, you know, not sweating the small stuff, you know, do your best. Um, I, you know, I, 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 this one's interesting. I wrote, consider pulling back on travel, you know, and, you know, in 2019, you know, I, I looked back at 2018 and I traveled 192 days and and it was interesting. I I when I did that, it taught me a huge lesson. And, and what I'm finding now is I'm starting to like book myself for a lot of travel. So for me, it's considered pulling back on travel. Why? Because going back to the family and kids and friends, you know, like I only have a limited limited amount of time. I'm a person that has a tendency of go go go, and then I look back and I'm like, oh shit, you know, I'm, I'm I gotta go back and pay dividends into the family right now. So for me, those are things that I, those are some things I said to myself, and and. You know, even reading right now, I wrote these, you know, a few weeks ago. They all still hold true. And so I encourage you to get into that time machine. Go grab yourself from 10 years now. What advice would you give yourself? And now I know you're going to be a different person 10 years from now. And everything I'm saying may, may or may not be true. I'll probably read this 10 years from now. I mean, man, you were worrying about that. You'll be fine. <laughs> but I really encourage you to, to, to get into that time machine and, and go Talk to the, that version of yourself 10 years from now. And, and one easy way that I did this was I really got into the time machine as myself, as 44-year-old Darius, and I got and I went back and I said, what would I tell them, 34-year-old Darius? And it was a lot of the same stuff, you know? But the reality is, is that when I start looking at the things that I would tell myself, you know, even off the cuff right now, it's like, look, 34-year-old Darius was really worried about his health, you know, you know, Many of you don't know this. I had a massive weight loss, you know, and I figured it out. And I would have said, Darius, you're going to figure this out. And I was relentless about it. I was like, you're going to figure this out, man. Don't sweat it. It's going to take you a few more years, but you're going to figure it out. And I'm going to say to Darius, you know, 34 year old Darius, hey, man, don't give 100% to the business and 0% to the family because there's a lot of people you gave 100% to 
that don't remember that you gave them a hundred percent. And, and, and there are some th- crazy things I did. I moved from San Francisco to LA to go try to buy a company when my son was eight months old. My wife and son lived in San Francisco. They'd come see me on Thursdays and leave on Sunday. I'm like, I'll never get those moments back. I will tell you right now, as God is my witness, that was a massive mistake. I should never have done that. It was a huge, huge, huge mistake. I should, that was not worth the opportunity. And I didn't know then that, hey, deals fall apart and you need to get stuff in writing before you go and move yourself to go and try to take over a company. You know, it was a massive mistake. I would never, ever have done that ever, 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 ever. And now knowing what I know now, right? And, and, and it was intuitive. Like my son's eight months old, nine months old. It's like, look, dude, like he's only been eight months old once, you know, every day you get with him is a gift. Don't give it away, especially for someone that's not going to remember you did it for, for, for them, let alone against yourself, you know? And, and so you start thinking about those things. You know, I was so focused 10 years ago on the money and, and that I, I gave away a part of my personal self. And that is, you know, that you, there's something to be said about being relentless to achieve your goals and you got to do it to achieve hard things. And I've achieved some hard things in my, my career and in my life. But, you know, my friend Leo is right. It's a shooting star, man. My eight month old, he's 12 years old now, you know, I'll never get those moments back. And so, you know, I, I really think that trying to, to, put some context around what's important is, is, is a, something that we need to pay more attention to because we only have one life to live. And, and when I go into a time machine and go talk to 24 year old Darius as 44 year old Darius, Oh my gosh, I would have been like, Hey dude, I know you want to start this company a year from now. Maybe you should do it. It's going to be awesome. But maybe you want to go travel around the world. Cause guess what? No one's going to care. <laughs> you know, that business might even go under, which by the way, it did go travel around the world, go have experiences. Go live it up. I know you're hungry to make money, but go live it up. You will never be in your 20s again. And then, you know, it goes to that saying like, youth is wasted on the young. And if I had a time machine, I probably wouldn't have started that first company at 25 years old. I probably would have went and screwed around and had fun and had adventures because eventually you have a family and settle down. Not everyone does this, but I did. And I wasn't able to have those adventures the way I, 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 at least now I can have those adventures as, as a 44 year old, but they're different. I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to go live in a hostel and, and go travel around the world and go do crazy stuff. I should have spent every penny of my, of my existence at 24 doing that, even just for a year and then come and grind. But I was grinding at 20. I was grinding at 21. I was so motivated. You know, I love that motivation. But it took away, it had a cost and the cost was doing adventures and experiences. So, you know, for me, what I, my ask of you as, as a listener is get into that time machine, go, go to see Doc, you know, Christopher Lloyd, get into that DeLorean, grab 54 year old you, 34 year old you, whatever 10 years from now you there is and sit down with yourself and have a conversation. What advice would you give yourself 10 years that if you were 10 years older to yourself today? And I, and I, and I think write it down and you'll be surprised what you say. And when you write those things down, the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is go and start in your calendar and start setting goals around making more of that stuff happen. And if we want to have a life of intent, we have to be intentional. And I'm, and you know, when I do a lot of these shows, I'm just preaching to myself because I want to live a more intentional life. I want to live a life where my heart and my mind is attached to exactly why I'm here but it comes with doing the right things and not just living in the second, being reactive to the moment. It's around thinking long-term because we only have one life to live and we got to make the most of it. And I really do believe that that is one of the tenets of greatness is doing what's right for right now and not just thinking, being reactive to the right now, but thinking about how that's going to affect us and what, what, what will we care that we did 10 years from now by doing it today. So with that said, this is my little episode of today's solo. I wanted to fly solo, give you guys some of my thoughts. I thought that was a cool exercise that I got to do. Um, and I wanted to share that with you all because I think that we all need to, to live our life of greatness and it comes with living a life of intent, like I said. So if you like this episode, share it with some friends, share it with some colleagues, uh, give us a review, give us some thumbs up if you like it. Uh, we appreciate all the support. Our goal here is to make this one of the top podcasts in the world. And the only way we do that is by having y'all share it. So with that said, have a great one. Peace out. We love you. Hey, uh, she's my-
You are listening to The Greatness Machine, and that's a wrap for today. Listen, if you love what you heard, subscribe to the show on whatever podcast platform that you're tuning in on so that you don't miss any of our future episodes. We have tons of great people coming on, and we're, we're stoked to have you here to enjoy it with us. Leave us a review. Tell us what you love most about this particular episode. We love getting the reviews. We love to see what you guys love most. And if this particular episode, you know, made you think of someone who's leveling up in their business and in their life, print screen, share it with them. Leaders are the best givers. And after all, we're all here to support and grow with each other. And in case you want to see some of the fun behind the scenes shots or some of the things that we're doing, I'm actually writing about this in my weekly newsletter. Go to www.therealdarius.com and subscribe to my newsletter. We're talking about fun things like business and life and mindfulness and cryptocurrencies and gosh, I don't even know everything and anything, but it's tons of fun stuff I write about. I try to get it out on a weekly basis. You can subscribe at www.therealdarius.com. And with that said, look, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Peace. We're out of here. See you guys on the next one. Uh-huh. She's my lover.